So I'm here with uh, Mr. Charles Leadbeater um, and I'm asking uh, him the question what his thoughts are on um, the mission we're currently developing aiming at uh, increasing creativity and innovation in Dutch education. So what, uh, what are your thoughts about, uh, about this? Uh, well, I think that you can have all sorts of different kinds of innovation. Uh, you can have innovation that improves the current system, uh, that sustains it, and there's plenty of effort going into that kind of innovation. Uh, I think you can have innovation to supplement it. So there's quite a lot of innovation going on around the world to try and um, combine schools with other forms of learning outside school, with family programs and things like that. I think that's very important because families are so important to education. There's quite a lot of effort going into reinventing schools, so creating new kinds of schools, using technology often, uh, more wireless, more student-led, more collaborative, new buildings, so on and so forth. But the biggest challenge and the biggest opportunity is whether you can transform learning, create entirely new ways to learn using technology. And there I think you're going to see that coming from the developing world, where there aren't schools, but there are mobile phones, and uh, see social entrepreneurs developing new approaches, like Sagata Mitra in India with his Hole in the Wall program, like Rodrigo Baggio in uh, South America with his CDI program. Um, but I think you'll also see it coming from technology companies who will be new big players in this space, creating new platforms for learning. Um, and that is going to be absolutely vital to the future of learning because what's absolutely clear is that the current ways to do it don't teach the right skills, they don't reach enough people, and they're very, very costly. And we need much better, more cost-effective, lower-cost ways of doing it and particularly in the developing world, where the, the biggest challenges we face globally are in the big cities of the developing world, where hundreds of millions of young people are hungry for education but can't get it. And what is the, do you think is the last question, what is um, the role and importance of creativity in this process you just uh, described? Well, I think creativity is important. Education has to be in some sense through school a sort of structured delivery of kind of quantifiable accountable kind of outputs but actually more and more of the skills that we're going to need are creative skills to find creative solutions to problems of climate change or to use creativity in the economy um, and actually creativity needs to be a part of what learning is rather than something added on or kind of pushed to the sidelines so I think creativity has to become structured, disciplined, kind of thought through uh, capability that people acquire and develop. And to motivate people to learn, education has to be intrinsically interesting. And unless it's a creative activity, rather than something they sit and listen to, uh, it's not going to be that. Okay, so in a way you can um, underline the importance of creative learning labs helping education to uh, get some space for creativity. Well, one of the problems in education, I think, is that our imaginations about what it can become are so constrained by schools, teachers, classrooms, exams, curricula, all the rest of it, that opening up the space to see that it could be something different um, is very, very hard. And so the more we can do that, uh, the more different ways we can create to allow people to learn who don't learn in the right way and don't acquire the kind of skills that they need, and particularly the appetite for learning. Yeah. that's going to be essential um, and so yeah efforts of all kinds to, to open that up through entrepreneurship creative learning labs and all the rest of it very important thank you so much Pleasure.